The music that I've grabbed here, I'm going to add um, another track here, one more audio track. Uh, add track, and I've got two audio tracks. Let's increase the height on these. Uh, but the music that I got is free music. I got it from MobyGratis.com. Uh, uh, the artist Moby releases it to independent filmmakers and students and people who want to use it without making a profit. Uh, there's also Incompetech.com. Incompetech.com is also a free movie music website that you can download music as long as you credit uh, the artist in, in the credits. So, um, so I've got some music here I'm going to be using. The very beginning here, you know what, what's happening here? These guys are, are cooking some food and then uh, they're, they're, they're going to eat dinner before they clean up a body. Uh, is kind of the premise of the storyline here. Uh, so we want to save the kind of the creepy music for the end. Don't want to have creepy music at the beginning so you think think that something's wrong because you want to kind of mislead the audience. So I'm going to go through some of these audio files. Let's listen to this. That sounds a little more creepy. That music might work at the beginning. Let's see what the next one is. Cited. That's kind of the scary music, and one more. A little bit more weird, not so creepy, but I think I like this one the most, the, uh, this file right here. So I'm going to, let, let's do this. First of all, I'm going to assign my audio track for this. Um, um, I'm going to put my source patching down to this audio track 6. So whatever I add on uh, with music, I, it'll, hitting period will drop it down there. Um, so I'm going to get this at the very beginning. In point, play it. I'm going to play it in a little bit, maybe about right there, and put out point. And give kind of a um, an arbitrary out point there. I'm going to hit shift 3, jump to my timeline, hit home, period, to drop that down in. And let's see what that sounds like. Hit home. Sound levels are good. We might have to turn that down when uh, he, when the guy walks in. They start uh, start having a conversation. So what we can do here is we can click this and we can assign this as music. And music also has a ducking. This is where the ducking is going to come in handy, uh, especially with the music. Let's extend that a little bit. Say we want the music to continue on, uh, but I'm going to duck this and we're going to duck it against dialogue. So it's ducked against dialogue. I'm just going to let it do the automated settings there. Let's generate the keyframes and see where it's doing it. It will start turning down the audio when they start talking. Let's give this a try now. And play through. It ducked the audio right there, and that sounded that sounded pretty good. Let's see how it sounds juxtaposed against the uh, the dialogue. Should I clean the floor? No, keep cooking. Add salt or add pepper? No. No salt or no pepper. Okay, and I might have, now that the conversation started, I'm going to do this. I'm going to gradually do a fade out. I'm going to uh, add, hit control and click on my keyframes there and gradually turn this down over time. Nice gradual fade out. Let's see what that sounds like. Should I clean the floor? No, keep cooking. Add salt or add pepper? No. No salt or no pepper? No salt. No salt. No. You got to use soy sauce. Okay, if I want to bring some music back here, when he, maybe when he walks away from the table. So that sounded pretty good. I like the music. I like the way it matches and flows there. But let's have uh, some different type of music come in here. Or let's listen to even more of this. If we want the same music going throughout, we could use this. Uh, let's listen to something else, to Strata. And maybe we can have them just have the conversation, and then when he tastes it, the music comes back. Let's, let's give that a try. Let's give that a try. Pepper? Red pepper. Then what? What do you mean? After the red pepper. Nothing. Serve it to me. So let's go down here and have him, um, let's have the music come in after he tastes the, tastes the sauce. Yeah, eat, then clean up. Okay. So let's give this, let's, let's see what Strata sounds like. And maybe we're going to have that, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have that time out right where he tastes it and his eyes kind of lighten up. Uh, uh, his eyes just really open and he really likes it and he's surprised that it tastes good. I'm going to have that moment right there be the moment when uh, this music kicks in. Right there. But we're going to back time this music as well so we have it when he's starting to, to eat, um, try the sauce. So in point right there, I'm going to get this right where his eyes lighten up and he likes the sauce. Hey, this, this is... Right there. 
So I'm going to put, uh, let's just drop that whole audio file down. Whoa, that's a big audio file. Let's, uh, let's put an out point, kind of an ar arbitrary out point right there, period, to drop that in. So right when he eats the sauce, right when his eyes lift up, good. We're going to arrow that, we're going to option, we're going to alt, move that back a little bit before he says good. Good. And we're going to back time this. We're going to fix all this, but watch this. When he uh, first tastes the sauce, let's, let's bring that down a little bit. Negative gain, uh, maybe six decibels, just so we can, so. Good. Back a little bit more. We want that to happen right about there. Is good. Right there. And I like that little audio cue that happens when his eyes kind of lighten up. So I'm going to drag this back until the very beginning of the song here. And let's see what that sounds like. It's a little loud right now. We're going to use some ducking here. So let's play through this. Thank you. Serve it to me. We eat first? Yeah, eat. Then clean up. Okay. And the audio increases, the, the music gets a little more tense. Let's go assign this as music. We're gonna turn on the ducking there and uh, generate the keyframes and see what that does. So, okay, let's play through this now. It's got a bunch of them for kind of the differences in audio. Let's see what happens here. Uh, I am going to do a fade in at the beginning. Let's bring the first keyframe down. So it gradually Thanks. comes in. So it, gra so it gradually increases. Thing. Serve it to me. We eat first? Yeah, eat. Then clean up. Okay. Hey, this is good. This <sighs> okay, I like the cues, but I do not like the ducking on this. So I'm going to do it myself. I'm going to turn that off. Going to go to the beginning of the clip. And I'm going to do my own keyframes here. So the ducking did not work in that instance. It was kind of went crazy there. So I'm going to uh, add a keyframe at the beginning and do my own ducking here. Turn that down a little bit. Actually, let's do this instead. I'm just going to add a crossfade at the beginning. Arrow up to there, Control Shift D. Turn that down a little bit. I don't like how loud that is at the beginning. There. Serve it to me. We eat first? Yeah, eat. Then clean up. And we need to turn that down even a little bit more as it progresses. Okay. Turn that down a little more. Hey, this is good. I like that cue right there. That worked pretty well. So let's just turn this down a little bit after that hits. We'll let it hit and then turn down a little bit more. Hey, this is good. This is really good. <laughs> thanks. And now we have some happy music going after she says thanks. Oh, it's so nice that you like my food. All right, so let's uh, let's find a point here. Uh, I want that to kind of fade out after it cuts to black. Let's see if we go to the end here. And we have this kind of nat nice natural fade out at the end of the music. Right there, and I like that fade out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shorten the ending of this here. I'm going to take off that little cross fade that I put at the end, that little fade out. I'm going to grab the end of this. Oh, for out point, actually, uh, I'm going to go to the very, very end. Let that go to the end of the music and do that as an out point. And I'm just going to grab this little portion right there. In point, out point, period to drop that into the timeline. And let's go and grab this. And we're going to find a spot to blend these two together. So it's kind of the beginning of the song and the ending of the song here. So at the ending. <laughs> Thanks. And we're going to um, see how much gain I brought this other one down. It was negative six. So let's do the same to this. We're going to. Gain this, negative six, and actually bring that, turn that down a bit right there. And it fades out until it cuts back to them finished eating. All right, so now I just have to find a blending point. Let's see, I might even be able to just pull these together and do a crossfade. Let's see if this works. Control Shift D and see how that crossfade sounds. Really good. <laughs> and that didn't really work. I gotta find a little better point here. Let's. Roll edit that back. I'm holding down control and roll editing it back. And we might even be able to just do a more gradual crossfade to blend that together. Let's make it more gradual. Good. This is really good. <laughs> Thanks. 
that sounds good. Sounds decent. Uh, what I just need to do is probably bring that down a little bit more. So I'm going to have this turned down a little bit more right there. I'm going to have this turned down coming into this clip a little bit more. So I'm going to control, click, bring down the volume. Let's bring this size up so I can really control this here and bring that down as well. Bring this one down and fade those together now. Do a cross dissolve between those two and see what that sounds like. Extend this cross dissolve. Hey, this is good. <laughs> this is really good. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, I really like that. So that worked. I grabbed the beginning of the song, the ending of the song, and made it sound like it was music kind of written for this specific piece. All right, so I'm going to continue to do that. I'm going to do some uh, some danger music, some kind of scary music here at the end when they uh, when they walk out and do, go clean up the body, and uh, we'll come back and we'll kind of show you that we'll show you what we've got. All right, so I've got through uh, finish. I've uh, finished up the the sound mix. I finished up uh, uh, out of the music at the end. So at the end here, when it uh, fades out here, it goes from the shot from the movie from uh, when they stand up and grab the bag. So I got this uh, music now building up toward the end as I stand up. And it moves into this final sequence. It's going to be for credits. Credits are going to roll over this. sound effect there with some, some film flashes uh, to kind of finish that up. All right, uh, so what we're going to be getting into next in the next uh, episode here is what we will start doing. We're going to be doing titling. We're going to be doing a little bit of effect work. When I talk about effect work, we're just going to be some, doing some stabilization and a little bit of speed ramping to kind of change up to change up the speed of some of the edits here just to improve this. But those are going to be considered effects. So those are going to, we're going to do those. Uh, we'll do them in Premiere, but we are going to export those out to movie files prepping this, getting it all ready to go to DaVinci Resolve to do a final color grade. Uh, so we'll talk about prepping a project uh, as well uh, in, some, uh, in some future episodes here, but for right now, next episode is going to be on titling. Uh, that's, the, uh, that's the episode on sound mixing, uh, and we'll see you hopefully next episode. Thank you.